What's up, everybody? Let me get the camera straight here. What's up, everybody? It's MCJ Network, and today will be my decoding of the All Eyes on Me movie. And the subtitle for this will be Tupac, The Last Black Panther. Now, I say that because that's truly what he was, The Last Black Panther. He, his original, he was originally raised in the Black Panther Party along with his mama. And he did things to get, he did things to create social reform or social reformation. So, so, so that's why I call it the last Black Panther because he was. If you look at when they killed him, we start there and we gonna head back. They killed him in 1996. The Black Panther Party's inception or their creation was 1966 so it was exactly 30 years that was the ritual uh they they wanted to kill him before it reached 33 which was which is an awakening so so but but do not feel tupac seen this coming and he made the song hail mary before they, before uh they killed him and he made the cd machiavelli now, Hail Mary means Hail Virgin Mary, which equals or pretty much uh, translates to Hail to the Feminine. So he fulfilled this contract with the Goddess. So with that being said, since he fulfilled this contract with the Goddess, he, he was straight. He did what he came here to do. He came here to show us that it can be done. You, you can... Live your life and still walk your path. He told us that you got to go into somebody's world to bring them out. So he had to go into hell to bring people out of hell. And they knew if he had lived, he was going to succeed. So that's why they killed him. So uh, he, he he did multiple things. He, he, he of course, he was, a, he was a poet. He was, a, so check out his book, A Rose, a Book of Poems, A Rose That Grew From Concrete. Check that out. I leave that in the link for y'all who have never uh, read it. He uh, and he did many other things. So, so, so the reason why he was the last Black Panther is because in his time, technically, the Black Panther Party had kind of turned their back on it because they didn't understand what he was trying to do the, the obscenity in his music was kind of bothering them but in reality he was trying to show people through his music that i still like to have fun but you're gonna get this message still so 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 he was trying to show y'all that multi-dimensionality that multi-dimensional uh perspective of um uh, how he lived his life he he, he was down with the gangsters. He was a poet. He was an actor. He was all that. Shoot. So, 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 he did his thing. So, uh, once again, he, ha he, he, it was a movement. He did, uh, it was, he, he did create a revolution in a way, a, a movement in a way, because people looked up to him and people listened to his music. And to this day, the spirit of his music is still as powerful as it was when he died in 1996. It's been 31 years since he died, by the way. By the way. So, so it's been 31 years since he died, and yet his music is still prevalent today. And it will be prevalent for another 30 years, the way it's going. So, so... Yes, they've been trying to kill his energy for years, the elites. It did not work on multiple occasions because his energy was just that powerful. So, so in the movie, at the end of the movie, as they killed him, they put the Buddha chain on him because he achieved Buddhahood. But they was trying to also slot the subliminal out of war technique that they tried to use was, oh, this is y'all Buddha that was prophesied to rise up rise up in America 
and take the throne and lead the um, black race of America up out of this. The resurrection of the dead. He was supposed to show y'all that. And uh, they put that on him when they killed him in, while he was dying in the movie. Which basically said, ha, we got you. We sacrificed your Buddha. We got you. But they did not expect for... See, what they didn't understand was Buddha, Buddhahood is just as spiritual as it is physical. So you may have killed the physical vessel, but the spiritual, the, his spiritual power was on a level that they didn't even, uh, they couldn't even imagine. I liked in the movie where he was standing on stage at the, um, as a, after the Digital Underground concert, and he just heard it through the force. He, just, he heard, he heard the people cheer his name through the force. And he knew then, like, I got to do this. I, I got to do this. I, I, got, I got to fulfill what I came here to do. So, of course, he had other plans. He had future plans. He wanted to start a, his own record label. And I think that was his biggest mistake, staying with Shug. He should have left. That's my, that's my opinion. He should have left. Uh, I, know, I know the man helped him, but he fulfilled his contract with Shug. He should have left. Uh... And uh, let's see what else I want to say. Yes, he he was also planning on creating his own movie studio so he could do movies and all that. He, he had plans for the future, so they knew that they knew what he was about to do. So they killed him before he did. And uh, that's what made him the last Black Panther. Yes, that that's what made him the last true Black Panther because he was the last of that, pop, that Black Panther energy of that time and they knew it and they killed him for it so so that's pretty much uh, my that's pretty much my breakdown of this movie it, it was pretty much a good movie especially if you didn't grow up in that generation and you always wanted to know why everybody's so crazy about Tupac this is why this is why see Machiavelli I'm gonna I'm 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 tell y'all something about Machiavelli Machiavelli was probably the most spiritual CD that was ever created because on the CD it said kill the Illuminati or um, kill, uh, kill that energy that I'm talking about the dark Illuminati not not the not the not the positive Illuminati the ones that were scientists I'm talking about the ones that they slapped the label on this uh, on the elites and they ran with it I'm I'm talking about them. Uh, he said, Killuminati, Seven Day Theory. Now, the Seven Day Theory is uh, pretty much the energies that governs each day. So, Sunday represents Shamash, the sun, solar energy. Monday represents uh, Luna, or Sin, the moon, lunar energy. Uh, Tuesday represented Til, the god of war for no in Norse mythology. Uh, Wednesday represents Odin, the chief god. Thursday represents uh, Thor, the god of lightning and thunder. Friday represents Frigga, the goddess of love. And Saturn represents, uh, and Saturday represents Saturn, the Roman god of agriculture. So that's what the seven day theory was. And uh, Machiavelli is a play on Machiavelli. Now, not the prince though. The prince is a, is, is a text on political warfare in a particular system. Now we're talking about discourses on Livy. And discourses on Livy, Machiavelli gives you how to gives you teachers on how to create an ideal society which 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 is built with pretty much a bloodline lineage, monarch, the the aristoc the aristocracy, noble class, and and uh the people. It, it, it's a three way system and you can't have balance without these three energies. That's what he was playing at when he said Machiavelli. But he used the the the, the, uh, the pimp energy, Machiavelli, you know, to 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 translate this energy for his people because he knew that they understood this. He knew they understood it in their language. He was speaking our language. Uh he was he was speaking our language for so that we could understand the music that he was trying to put out, that he was putting out, and that he was the message that he was trying to relate to us. So, so, and in my eyesight, he did it. To this day, people still love pop. 
uh, three, four generations. People still know who Pac is. People still know who, what Pac did. And people still look. So, so he did what he came here to do. He was an, he was an angelic warrior. He, he made all, he, he made the main things he needed to do happen. Uh, if he had lived, of course, he would have been even greater, even more powerful. Probably one of the baddest motherfuckers on earth. But yeah, I'm, I'm quite sure he, you know, he he would have been the baddest motherfucker on earth. Especially as far as music is concerned. So, that pretty much concludes my decode for All Eyes On Me. Tupac, The Last Black Panther. This is MCJ Network, and I'm out.